The job of God of Destruction seems simple. Just destroy, right? Well, of course we know that it isn't that simple. But the funny part is, is the two gods of destruction we mostly see in Dragon Ball Super barely do the simple part of their job. Beerus destroys, but his judgment in destruction is childish, plus he basically sleeps for long periods of time, and you literally can't have him destroy anything when he's sleeping for a hundred years. And his brother Champa, which he probably does have the same sleeping issue as him, destroys, but he doesn't even do it himself. He has his own angel, Vados, destroy planets that he sees fit to destroy. Now, if we are completely and utterly transparent on the idea of what these gods in each universe must do, it is definitely more or less just help the moral level of their own universe rise as much as possible. Beerus barely does this himself, and there's an argument can, that can be made that his training of Goku and Vegeta don't or doesn't really help the problem very much at all, because strength isn't the biggest determining factor of one's mortal level or of a universe's mortal level. But I'm not here to talk about Beerus, I'm actually here to talk about his brother. It is obvious that Champa doesn't do his job either as the God of Destruction of Universe 6, especially when you learn that before the Tournament of Power, Universe 6 was ranked 10th among 12 universes, and after the Tournament of Power, is actually ranked even lower. Now, what would have happened though if Champa actually did his job as God of Destruction? Well, first off, if he actively destroyed those who were harming the universe, the universe's progression, and also assisted in the advancement of, well, races who were kind of benefiting the universe, maybe just maybe his universe wouldn't have been in the state it was basically going into in terms of the tournament of power. But in all reality, Champa would need to help keep the universe clean if he wanted to, you know, be clear of the universal purge. Like I said before, destruction is far from enough, but what I could see Champa doing is actually, well, getting Universe 6's Saiyans to work with him personally. We heard from Kaba that Universe 6's Saiyans have evolved quite a bit and are actually hired to protect the planets or planets and to not conquer them, not like Universe 7 Saiyans. On top of that, the Universe or the Universe 6's Saiyans have evolved quite a large margin compared to the Universe 7 Saiyans. I mean, look at how strong Kaba is when he takes on Vegeta. A base form Kaba goes head to head equally with Vegeta who has God Key. If Champa decides to take the Saiyans of Universe 6 under his wing, he could create one of the most unstoppable forces in all the universes. No doubt the potential of the Saiyans are off the charts and it would be a perfect in terms of trying to just clean up the universe. In all reality though, the only situation that would call for this is after the Universe 6 vs 7 tournament. It would have kind of been the only time that Champa would most likely decide to do this. I say that because if Champa actually did his job, he either wouldn't be searching for the Super Dragon Balls in this instance, or even if he did collect them, he would probably use them in the more of a benefit of his own universe. So if he didn't start the, the kind of Universe 6 versus Universe 7, the whole idea of him utilizing the Saiyans most likely wouldn't have happened, but just for this sake of the story, let's just say the Universe 6 vs 7 tournament still happens. Now, with that, with that being said, well, Champa would see how strong Goku and Vegeta are. And because of the training that they basically did under Whis, Champa seeing this would decide to do the same for Kaba. I mean, after seeing the fruits of his labor, may, he may even transition into creating the perfect task force to clean up the universe in terms of utilizing the Saiyans. Yes, I know this may seem selfish in a way, but I never said that the God of Destruction doing his actual job meant that he was going to be nice. He has to utilize what is given and what is surrounding him to his own advantage. 
and of course he would supply them with some sort of compensation or payment because well that's what the universe six saiyans were kind of accepting at this time but other than that he wouldn't go up and beyond with the saiyans specifically Maybe he would with someone like Kaba because of the potential he has with a maybe Super Saiyan God Kaba. But now it really comes down to this. Would Universe 6 still be forced into kind of the tournament of power? That's the main thing that kind of we think about when someone like Champa actually does his job as the, well, God of Destruction. Well, it kind of depends on how you look at it. If Champa did his job from the very start, maybe the mortal level would be pretty darn high. But to be fair, Universe 6 has Hitman like hits, like, you know, it says it in his name. He's literally a Hitman. And a terrible and unsavory figures like Frost, someone that is a snake in the grass, someone so hidden that even Champa thought he was actually a good guy in canon. So there is a good possibility that they would still kind of be in the tournament of power. But with the Saiyans they have in that tournament, how much different would it look? Personally, in my opinion, I think it would look far different than you would possibly expect. Kaba, Khalifla, and Kale would be far stronger than they were in canon at the start of the tournament of power. And if they have God Key, which most likely they would over a course of a year or two of training with, well, Vados or herself, who knows how strong they truly would be. I mean, come on, we saw a base Kaba go head to head with Vegeta. So it's not too crazy to think that their power would elevate them to a position where they could heavily contribute in this tournament. Now, am I saying... Would they win the tournament? Most likely not. I mean, the Universe 6 Saiyans love fighting, and their potential to evolve further and further throughout the tournament would definitely put them above the Universe 6 Saiyans, but it's no joke to think that, well, if Champa actually did his job as a god of destruction, or a god in general, I mean, it wouldn't really change the fate of Universe 6. I mean, it would definitely show in the tournament how much stronger, how much faster, how much just more potent their power is, especially how potent we've seen Kale, Khalifla, and more specifically Kaba in that universe 6 versus 7 arc, how strong he really was. Adding God Key makes, makes the person that much stronger. It's pretty insane. It's kind of the same effect with Gohan being a hybrid, doesn't have God Key, but he's extremely powerful in the in the latest movie. Now, even though nothing really would change in the Tournament of Power, no doubt in my mind this would actually help his universe because he would potentially create more or less his own version of the Pride Troopers. But we've seen that the Pride Troopers are a little kiltered off and on just for the whole sake of, well, Jiren. Jiren's power is off the charts, but of course, his his way of being a, let's call it, pure-hearted warrior or a, a kind of like a savior and protector of justice isn't really what a pure-hearted person should be doing. Because he's not necessarily pure of heart. But in this case, someone like Kaba, someone like the Saiyans that aren't world conquerors, someone that they do it for money, they actually protect planets for money, this warrior race, this more evolved version of the warrior race that we know both in Universe 6 and 7, the ones we call the Saiyans, could possibly make for a task force that would protect and cleanse the universe of Universe, sec or universe 6 into something way better than they could possibly imagine now with all that said this is the end of the video this is what i believe personally what champa would would kind of or what would happen if champa actually did his job now what do you think would happen if champa actually did his job because i would love to get into a follow-up video 
with the idea of what if Kaba was trained by Champa or Vados, aka what if what if you know he trained with the God of Destruction, kind of like Vegeta and Goku, because that idea surprises would surprise you a lot. A Kaba that has Super Saiyan God would be far stronger than you can believe, and someone that is consistently training, just like Vegeta and Goku. Who says he couldn't surpass them? Who says that the potential of a more evolved Saiyan race couldn't surpass, well, the Saiyans of Universe 7? Now, maybe you guys have your opinions on that as well. Leave them in the comment section below. I love to read them. I love to see what you believe what would happen in this scenario. Remember, this is only my take on it because, let's be honest, there's a multiverse out there. So you might think that something else would happen. You might think this is impossible and that's completely fine. You're warranted in everything you say. And with all that said, from at least from me, I hope y'all enjoyed the video and make sure to leave a like, leave a sub, leave a comment down below, all that good stuff. And I hope all y'all have an amazing day. Later.